In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about glycolytic enzyme deficiencies. Remember that these deficiencies, it occurs very rarely. So, this is a rare group of disorder. In the previous videos, we had seen the pathway of glycolysis, right? There are total 10 enzymes in this pathway and any enzyme of this pathway can be absent, right? However, the most common enzyme is the pyruvate kinase and the second most common enzyme is this glucokinase. So, let us start our discussion with this first pyruvate kinase deficiency. So, the first disorder to discuss is the pyruvate kinase deficiency. Now, whenever I say deficiency, it does not mean that there is a complete absence of pyruvate kinase. Rather, mostly it is just decreased pyruvate kinase activity. Now, what will happen if pyruvate kinase is decreased? Of course, there will be a decreased glycolysis, right? A decreased glycolysis. Now, glycolysis, this pathway's main purpose is to supply ATP. So, there, is, there will be a decreased ATP supply. Now, see, in most of our tissue, glycolysis is not the only source of the ATP. There are other sources also like fatty acid oxidation, amino acid oxidation, like that. But several tissues are such that they are solely depends on the glycolysis for the supply of ATP. One of the very good example is the red blood cells. Red blood cells, they depend only on the glycolysis for the supply of ATP. In RBCs, what this ATP does is that first is the metabolic needs. So, it, fruit, it uh, fulfills the metabolic needs of the red blood cells. Second, it maintains the activity of ionic pumps, right? These ionic pumps on the cell membrane of the red blood cells are required for the two purpose. One thing, it maintains the flexibility of the cell membrane and second thing, it maintains the shape of red blood cell. So, you can easily imagine what will happen when the pyruvate kinase is deficient, right? So, there will be less ATP in the red blood cell and so cells flexibility and the shape of RBC will be lost. Now, normal shape of the RBC is like this. It is a biconcave shape, right? And because of this shape, RBCs can pass through the narrow capillary lumen. But in case of pyruvate kinase deficiency, this shape will be lost. Instead, RBC will look like this, right? It had lost its biconcave shape. Such type of cells, they are also called as a Burr cells. One more name is that, that is echinocytes. So, such cells have a notches on the red blood cell membrane, right? So, because of this such shape, what will happen when this RBC passes through the capillary? It gets further damage, right? And we know that what will happen to this damaged RBC? Damaged RBCs, they are destroyed in reticuloendothelial system. Reticuloendothelial system is mainly located inside the spleen. So, inside the spleen, such damaged RBCs are broken down. Right? So, there is a hemolytic anemia. This hemolytic anemia is the main clinical feature of the pyruvate kinase deficiency. And remember, this hemolytic anemia, it is the main clinical feature of all these, any of these enzymes deficiency. Okay? Why? Because of the, the reason is same, because of the decreased ATP. But as we will see later in this video that glucokinase deficiency is the only enzyme deficiency of the glycolytic pathway which does not lead to hemolytic anemia. That we will see in the short time, right? Now here, hemolytic anemia, it can be a mild form to the severe form. It depends on how much pyruvate kinase activity is remaining. See, if only 5% activity of this pyruvate kinase is remaining, that means it leads to very severe form of hemolytic anemia and this mild form may lead when only 35 percent of this pyruvate kinase activity is remaining, right? Now, in this bad thing, one or two good thing happens in case of pyruvate kinase deficiency. We can say it is not a good thing, but relieving factor, right? See, in pyruvate kinase deficiency, what happens? There is a block in this reaction. So, there will be increased concentration of phosphenol pyruvate. This also increases, this also increases, this also increases. The main thing is this, 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, its concentration increases. And so, this 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, it gets diverted for the synthesis of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate. 
this 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate concentration increases right so let's write it over here there is an increased concentration of 2 3 bpg that is bisphosphoglycerate now the normal function of the 2 3 bpg is that it helps in the unloading of oxygen it helps in unloading of oxygen from where from hemoglobin right so suppose this is hemoglobin and this is oxygen so when it, this oxygenated hemoglobin it reaches to the tissue side it this molecule 2 3 bpg helps to release this oxygen from the hemoglobin so now as there is a more concentration of the 2 3 bpg more and more hemoglobin can be released from this hemoglobin right more oxygen will get released and so the tissue will get more oxygen see on one side there is a anemia but this increased 2 3 bpg will help its little bit for increased oxygen supply to the tissue so we can say that this increased 2 3 bpg concentration is mitigating or decreasing the severity of hemolytic anemia right the second aspect is related with the malaria. Malaria is the infection by the plasmodium species of this parasite. Plasmodium species parasite. When we get infection of this plasmodium species parasite, the disease is malaria. Now, this plasmodium species, it spends its lifespan inside this normal RBCs, right? What will happen if this plasmodium species infects such abnormal RBCs? It will not able to complete its life cycle. Why? Because lifespan of RBC itself is decreased. So, this plasmodium species cannot complete its life cycle because of this abnormal cell. So, such person, pyruvate kinase deficiency patient, they are somewhat resistant to malaria. Resistant to malaria so this is the advantage that this pyruvate kinase deficient people have so this was about the biochemistry of pyruvate kinase deficiency now let's look at this second most common enzyme deficiency that is glucokinase deficiency but before we discuss glucokinase deficiency i need to discuss about this hexokinase and glucokinase see hexokinase and glucokinase both catalyze the same reaction but still their entire role in the glycose uh, in the glucose metabolism is totally different see hexokinase its main role is to produce atp whereas the glucokinase its main role is the glucose homeostasis right and why its main uh, this hexokinase main role is for the atp and why glucokinase main role is glucose homeostasis that i had already discussed in one of my previous videos so i am not repeating it but here I will just want to refresh your memory that glucokinase, how it is able to maintain the this glucose homeostasis, right? So, second disorder to discuss is the glucokinase deficiency. Now, how glucokinase is maintaining the homeostasis of the glucose? See, this is the pancreatic beta cell. This is a beta cell of pancreas and beta cell only contains glucokinase, not hexokinase. So, suppose this is a glucokinase. So, see what will happen when there is an increased blood glucose concentration. This increased glucose enters inside this cell and this glucokinase, it converts this glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. This glucose 6-phosphate leads to increased ATP inside this beta cell and this increased ATP signals the insulin for the release of it. So, there is an insulin release. And we know that insulin is a hormone which brings down blood glucose concentration. So, there will be a decreased glucose concentration. So, see, there was an increased glucose concentration and because of the insulin, there is a decreased glucose concentration. So, we can say that this insulin is maintaining the glucose constant blood glucose level, right? Now, you can easily imagine what will happen if there is a glucokinase deficiency. If glucokinase is deficient, our beta cell will not able to sense increase in the blood glucose concentration, right? And so, insulin release will not occur. So, there is the main feature is impaired insulin release, impaired insulin release. Now, because of the impaired insulin release, there will be an increased blood glucose concentration that we call it as a hyperglycemia, hyper 
glycemia. So, these are the two main features of this glucokinase deficiency. This glucokinase deficiency, it is also called as a MODI 2. This MODI stands for maturity onset diabetes of young. It is a maturity onset diabetes of young and this 2 stands for type 2. So, glucokinase deficiency or MODI 2 both are same thing and this is the clinical feature of that. So, now as we had discussed two main uh, enzyme deficiencies of the glycolytic pathway that is pyruvate kinase and glucokinase. And remember because this glucokinase it is not related with the ATP production, there is no any hemolysis except for the glucokinase any other enzyme deficiency of this glycolytic pathway it will always leads to hemolytic anemia. Now, there are some cases of phosphofructokinase one is also seen and some cases of the aldolase deficiencies were also seen. In both the cases of course, hemolytic anemia will be observed, but in addition to hemolytic anemia in this phosphofructokinase one deficiency there will be a myopathy. Now, what is the reason of this myopathy? See, if this enzyme is deficient, more and more fructose 6-phosphate will accumulate and more and more glucose 6-phosphate will accumulate. This glucose 6-phosphate, it is diverted for the glycogen synthesis and so there will be a more and more glycogen and this glycogen will stored in the skeletal muscles, right? And because of this increased amount of glycogen in skeletal muscle, it leads to myopathy. In case of aldolase deficiency, of course, hemolytic anemia will occur. In addition to that, there will be a mental and growth retardation, mental and growth retardation, right. Now, what is the exact biochemical base of mental and growth retardation in aldolase deficiencies is not clear, right. So, that is all for this glycolytic enzyme deficiencies. If you have any query or confusion, please write it down in the comment section below. Thank you.